Hi guys, Kyung here. Um, I thought we'd play with some watercolor today. Maybe make some Edith Holden pockets for our Edith Holden journal. Um, I have my big cutter out because I can't seem to... Oh, there's my little cutter, of course. I see it right as I get my big one out. Um, so I have this watercolor paper here. And uh, it's just like standard watercolor paper. I pulled it out of this book. Right? It's just... It's an Arteza watercolor paper book. So I pulled it out of there. And I'm going to cut them. What are we measuring at? Six? Let's cut them at three and we'll make little cards. Um, I just want to do a few little paintings, right? Try to, try to paint some little flowers. I've been kind of lacking on the inspiration lately, to be honest. And so I've been painting instead. Because, I don't know, that seems to bring my inspiration back. And so, yes, it has been a while, I will admit. Um, I will say I've been lazy, but I kind of haven't been. I've been uh, doing the house. I did the entire upstairs room and um, remodeled, well, didn't really remodeled it, but I turned it into a... Uh, where we could put all of our games and stuff. And then I've been working on the backyard as well. So I'm going to take this washi tape, right? I have this washi tape that I'm never going to use for anything else, really. I mean, maybe for a little golden book some point or something, maybe. But okay. Oh... It's not very good washi tape, is it? Well, we're also trying to, you know, put it on this here mat. This mat is not the most... Um, stuff doesn't like to stick to it, shall we say. <laughs> it has a non-stick... What am I doing with that? Okay, let's grab a brush all over the place. And I'll grab my gouache paints. They're just watercolor. They're like opaque watercolor. I got these ones from Arteza. You can get a pretty cheap set for for a lot of colors, actually. And they last forever, I'll say. It's worth it. It's worth it. Let's use this brush. Look, I left it in the water and it messed up my wood. That's what happens when you leave your brushes in the water. Okay, let's move that over there. Let's see. What do we want to do? bring this back over here and get our brush wet okay so let's try to make like maybe a hanging like a wisteria a wisteria a wisteria kind of plant so I have this kind of light purple right, let's put some water in there get it all ready okay Let's see, and I'm not going to wet it, right? I'm going to do it on dry, and I'm going to, uh, let's see, make little kind of dots, right? I'm going to kind of bring it down like this, and kind of bring it up like this, like that. And um, let's do another one, uh, down like this, and then up like this, I guess kind of in a diamond shape. And let's do another one. Uh, perhaps. Like that. They could be lilacs too, I suppose. Okay, so while that dries a little bit, let's add some, perhaps some darker purple. Some darker purple into our purple. There we go. Oh, that's too much. We'll just pick it up. It's still not dark enough, huh? Let's add some of this. I've got some of this, like, I don't know. It's like a almost pink color. That should change it. 
just add some dots to add another layer. Okay, and now I'm going to wait for that to dry. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of dry. Let's add another layer. Let's put some blue in. Let's grab some of this blue. Let's add some blue. Right, just little tiny dots. Doop, 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 doop. Little tiny dots. All right, nice. Okay, so we're going to think about leaves. I want, I think, like an olive color. Let's see, what color is this? okay I suppose we could add like a dash of brown perhaps that might help it's pretty dark huh add some water Perhaps a little bit of this green. Lighten it up a little bit. Okay. Let's see. rinse off and dry off our brush and pick up that little bit of pooled dark green. That's better. Let's see. Bring some little, like, little branches. Well, they're going to be leaves. <laughs> Not really branches. Okay. So, for my scavenger hunt, I plan to go to the antique store this weekend. I'm super excited. And the list is quite large, so I'm super, I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm going to see how many, um, right, how many I can get. It should be fun. Let's just spread this out a little bit, put some, right, like they're coming off. Yay! Okay, we definitely need to add another little layer of like blue on top of our uh, on top of our flowers. Oh, that's a nice blue. Let's purple it up a little bit. Okay. Little dots, dot, 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 dot. Yay, super pretty. Pretty wisteria or lilac or whatever. Um, I suppose we could add like some more, right? We could do some in like some different kind of lighter shades. Right? 
right that are like hanging kind of in the background okay and let that one dry perhaps grab some green kind of come in and put in some like background kind of greenery <laughs> don't ask me I'm having fun I think maybe we'll add like some color down here that shines up right I think that will be nice let's see let's grab some more purple dots on these background ones maybe pick up some of the darker soak up some of the darker bits because I don't want them to be super prominent all right now what color I'm thinking maybe like a yellow or like a brown color we have this kind of what's left over on my palette whatever this is we can mop it up it's like a brown kind of color we could add a little bit of this green kind of give it like right a, like a natural because we're going kind of Edith Holden right so we want like a natural kind of blending it in <laughs> okay and let's see um hmm. looks like these are kind of dry so we could put some blue in Put some darker blue. On these ones. Yay. Okay, maybe rinse our brush. Spread it a little bit. Okay. Right, and these background ones came out great, I think. Right, they kind of are in the background. I think our green is dry enough. We can add some more. Okay. Kind of just kind of do just a little bit of blending so that my lines are not so stark. And then maybe we'll add a couple of extra leaves. So I'm thinking let's grab some of this light green and some of this white. The white will make it kind of more opaque and creamy, right? Perhaps go darker. Put a little bit of darker.
Don't ask me, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay, that's good enough. We took way too much time on that. Pick up some of this excess paint. Nice, okay. Okay, I have this little tiny brush, right? It's like a little detail brush. It's not the best. It's got, you know, it's not the best. Um, but especially because I've left it in pots and stuff. But it's good enough. I'm going to put my name on it, right? Let's do it. Twenty-two, yay! All cute and small. Okay. So I have this beautiful paper that um, Miss P sent me. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's this designer paper collection, and it's exclusive to card making and paper. And I don't know. It's like 2014. I don't know if you can find it. I have no idea. But I'm gonna make some pockets out of this. So we have this. Let's, let's kind of, we have the poppies. Oh, this one is almost perfect, huh? And I'm not sure about like this side. I mean, it's pretty, but I really love this. So let's do that. I'm going to just rip it out. Yep, yep, yep. Right, we're just going to use this, um, for this paper for a pocket. And I think we'll back it on some cardstock so that we're not so flimsy and let's see let's kind of look at what our width is going to be and our measurements and stuff okay so here's here's like our signature size right let's go what about like this can we save more paper I bet we can Okay, let's cut it off from here. And how about from up here? I think so. I think that works. That'll give us two even. I'm not sure. I might not use the same paper for um, this one. But I think it'll be perfect for that one. Grab my cutter. Line it up, make sure we're straight. Let's see, line it up. I hope everyone had a wonderful week and a safe 4th of July. Those who celebrated 4th of July. Um, it can be, you know, with all the fireworks and everything. My Fitz dog had a lot of fun. He loved, loved it. Loves the fireworks. Weird dog. Okay, I'm going to stick this piece back in here. Dum dum. Okay, let's glue this. Okay, and we'll have to stitch it too for sure. All right, let's not grab the little scissors. We'll cut it with the big scissors. Making a pocket. I'll make a few of these, I think. Right, I'll sit and I'll paint some flowers and then make some, um, just some basic pockets. Okay, let's see. We can put this here. Let's uh, cut it from here uh, to here. How about that? 
let's see from okay from here to here cut that right off ta-da there's our pocket and then yeah you know I'll stitch around it and everything but for now let's ink it let's ink it in green I have my peeled paint ink it oh I like the green on that paper okay so we have that inked I'm going to use my decalage scissors these are Fiskars I think they're pretty old I think they're like 2008 2007 I'm going to cut off my white border because we don't need it it's probably not the most straight but that's okay and I'm gonna ink it in the green and then let me think do we want to put something maybe behind it some like texture or something let's see what do we got we have this stuff Ooh, I have this purple fabric like leftover piece we could put on there perhaps like this I don't know let's rip that off and we'll rip this part off because it doesn't need to be that long there could have it sticking up poking up like that I'm not sure perhaps like this or down like this <laughs> we'll figure it out huh let's see what else do we have in here I have some Edith Holden fabric left it's got that purple in it that's also nice let's see don't I have some looking for maybe some like frayed have that pink this is pink here we go this is what I'm looking for I have some of this we can put down as well Might just cut a piece of that put some of that down just for some texture I don't know <laughs> I don't know this is pretty we could put some of this down on the bottom okay good good put this down cut that put some glue perhaps like this because it's I'm gonna stitch it too so and then this one goes here like this bum bum So we put all the grass seed out in the back and we watered it all. I'm hoping that they grow. Hoping that the we get some grass growing. We built a little fence yesterday, so that was fun. Me and Matthew. okay now we need something here and so we could use a word or we could put a flower or we could put ooh, a butterfly <laughs> let's do a butterfly because butterflies are the way to go let's see we have these red ones 
this orange one. It's very big. I have these little ones. I have this one. I kind of like that one. You can like put two of them. We could. That's kind of pretty too. That kind of matches the green. I mean, here's another big one. Do we have another little one of those? Nope. I like that one. I think it's kind of bold. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to ink some green around him. I'm going to put some glue. Oh, my fabric tech is being gloopy today. I think that looks really nice though. Ta-da! A pocket! A pocket! We covered up a lot of that paper, didn't we? <clears throat> I'm kind of... <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Isn't that how... Isn't that the way it goes? Isn't that the way it goes? I suppose let's stitch it and put it in the journal. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make it a straight stitch. I'm going to start at the bottom right-hand corner, which is where I usually start. Okay, and I'm going to do it a straight stitch. All right, and then so it's stitched all the way around and now I do want to stitch around right here because that's not wanting to stick down as well as I would like it to. All right, now I'm just going to trim off my little um, excess threads. Ta -da. Oh, it's actually really cute. And you know what? Well, let's put some pearls on it. <laughs> yes, let's put some pearls on it. It needs pearls. Let's see. Is our... Uh-oh. Our pearls spilled. Well, he escaped. Okay, I'm put a little piece of glue and the pearl. We'll put three. A dab of glue. And a pearl. And one more. Okay, let's move it over a little bit, make it kind of even. Awesome. Ta-da! Yay! Now we have pearls. Pearls! Okay, so let's put it in the journal. Okay, let's see. What do we have going on? We've got this front page, this page with our flippy envelopes. We've got our belly band with our notebook and our envelope 
uh, flip outs, which I need to retie. The loveliest things adorns a sky of blue. So we have this whole middle piece we can play with. So let's put this down. Shall we put some paper in behind it? Of course we should. Of course we should. Now, I think this paper is a little too... Should we? Can we? Where is that piece we have? We have this piece. And then let's put a piece underneath it or above it. I'll get off tape. We'll cut it there. Okay. Yes, that will fit lovely. And then... Yes, maybe what we'll do is I'll have it down here. Right, and we can trim that off from here. We can do another baby trim. Okay, and then we'll do um, some Edith above it. And I have some scraps. Let's see what I have. I have this. And hark. Okay, let's trim off. The edge, that rough edge. Okay, this needs to be the same width as this. And then if this sits up here and this sits underneath it, how are we looking? Good. We could even go all the way up like this maybe. And just get that one quote. No. Not quite. It needs to be at least down here. Okay. That's fine. We're good. Let's just line these up. Okay. Let's ink this one green, and then we're going to ink this one the tea dye. That's what I think. Oh, I love the green on the Edith. It really does look good. It was Miss P who um, I saw do that. Miss Paint a Lot. Okay. Let's glue this down. We'll glue this one down first. I'll try to be centered with it, kind of. Lovely. And we'll do this one in the tea dye. I'm going to do quite a bit of tea dye, too. Don't know why I'm doing the bottom. You are not going to see the bottom, most likely. But, you know, you never know. Okay, which way? This way, I think? I think this way. And I'm going to glue it here. Is it still a little too long? Still a little bit. 
That's okay. Just by a hair. <clears throat> okay, let's glue this down. Those yellow flowers are pretty. Oh, glue blob. It's a glue blob. Okay. Give it a good caress, right? <laughs> all right, and I just decided to glue it down all just all the way for, at the bottom. That's fine by me. Now let's glue this on there. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna glue this part. I'm only gonna glue this side. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. Even though it's being gloopy, look at it. Yuck. Okay, it's okay. We got it. It's working. We're working. All right. Give it a good press. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, so we can do something here and I'm thinking washi tape. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see, what do we have? We have something pretty that will go, I'm sure. Um, I'm thinking of using I like this one. I think this is the one we got from um, my creative studio. And that's lovely. I don't know though. We have the gold. We have the gold. Now it doesn't want to stick. That's fine. Fine, don't stick. We've got this one. It's black. That one won't work. I don't know why I grabbed the black one. We have black. Um, let's see. Uh, we have this purple because I want one that won't be too see-through, you know. This one, this is pretty. This might blend, blend it all together. It's purple. Oh, don't rip on me. Okay. Ah, oh, it ripped on me. That's okay. What can you do? It's that cheap washi tape, you know. But I think that will look great. Look, right there like that. It kind of blends it together, I'm thinking. Let's add some glue. Let's cut it right where it started tearing. Okay. I'll place it there. My poor Phoebe girl is all, she was so scared tonight. And so she got herself all worked up and now she's hot, but it's finally all, everything is calmed down now, you know, finally. It only took till midnight. They shot off fireworks in the neighborhood till midnight. It's been like that for a couple days now. The poor dogs. Okay, I love. I love it. Okay. And then, I mean, it is very, but that's okay. Um, I still do kind of like it. All right. Let's put some lace. We could put some lace down the side. I'm thinking like this. I'm not sure about that one though. Let's see. We have the purple. The purple might go lovely. Let's do it. Where, where should I cut it? Should I cut it here? Should I cut it here? Right at the length of the, at the end of my trim. Okay. Now I want to make sure that I don't glue this pocket closed. So 
just right along the edge, a little line of Fabri-Tac. Ta-da! We have a little bit of excess. That's okay. We'll trim that off. I'm going to scoot my uh, lace over right to the edge of my paper. Press it down so that it's good. Yay, I love, I love. Okay, so we have these journaling cards and stuff, right? I have these ones I painted, which is fitting. You know, we could put one of those in there. Oh, the, yes, that looks great. And then I have these ones too. I have one of these we could put in there. Um, I also have these ones. These are kind of bigger, and they've got the lace down the side as well. So what do we think of that? I like it. Yes, I like it. That's what we'll do. We'll put those two in there, and we could put a piece of journaling paper in. As you know, I like to do that. I have this beautiful paper. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. It's like purple and red and yellow. And we'll fold this one up. And we'll put this one in there. We'll do it like this. Just a nice piece of... Just a nice piece of journaling paper. We'll stick it in between or behind. Put it behind. I love to have secret journaling hidden always throughout the journal. So there is this page. Dun, dun, dun. So pretty with the purple. I love. And we have pretty pearls and all the lace and yeah. I love it. It's wonderful. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Um, talk to you later. Bye!